So this podcast is with Luke Burroughs. This has been a massive process to get this podcast going. He's in the UK. I am in the US and we've been trying to get this going since about 7.15. There was a messed up with the time differences and I think we're finally getting it. So we'll see. For me, it's not, it's about not having, it's, it's about not having those regrets. What could I have done? I need to be out there communicating with people. Luke Burrows is the founder of Grow Together and Podcaster. He works with and helps young people, millennials, and the next generation to discover who they are, do what they love, and unlock their true potential through changing the way that they think. Now, here's your host for the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy V. Terry. Hey, Luke. Oh, my goodness. Finally. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm here. So, okay. All right. How's it going? Oh, my God, man. It is crazy out here. Oh, my God. First and foremost, a pleasure meeting you, as always. So nice to meet you. Bangkok, Thailand. I've been here for six years. The story is crazy. a long one. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, it's a long story, Sandy. It's a long one, you know? Well, I want to hear about it. So that is exactly what we're here for. Um, so let me actually start with a brief introduction uh, because that is exactly the reason why we're here today, right? So uh, let me explain our audiences, actually, because we have two audiences. We have your audience and we have our audience, Entrepreneur Vibrations. And we do introduce also your podcast because we were supposed to have two podcasts today. We were supposed to have um, mine uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning, and then that was at Eastern time, and then yours at seven o'clock in the morning. But then because of the time differences, we have three different locations. We got it all messed up, and then we were not able to do that. So bottom line, we decided to do one podcast, and we're going to actually ask each other questions, and we're gonna have only one, and we're gonna make it happen. And that shows everybody that that is willpower. That means no matter what, when you want to make something happen, you just make it happen. You don't let things get on your way. So with that said, guys, I am Sandy Viteri. This is uh, Entrepreneurial Vibrations, and I am here with these two amazing guys. I'll let you introduce yourself. Yeah, so we went to have two podcasts today, but um, and so Sandy was meant to come on to our podcast, Motivational Mentors, and we, so we started off as a Q&A podcast, but now we just interview inspiring people from all over the world and just dive into their mindset, you know, and dive into, into like the habits and how they've been able to overcome challenges and obstacles. So my background is as a personal growth mentor, working with and helping young people and millennials um, to pretty much do what they love and to, you know, discover who they are, go through that process and help them and guide them through that process. And I founded Grow Together, which is a personal development community of you know um over 200 young people now that all help each other and support each other so um and beginning of the year we launched grow together academy which arsenio is involved in as well so it's been an awesome awesome journey so far um and a huge part of that has been connecting with this awesome guy that i collaborate with arsenio um Cheers. so uh, so yeah it's it's been um, a great journey so far honestly when did i start my podcast journey it was at the beginning of 2016 this is when i hit rock bottom psychologically. Here in Thailand, me being African-American, Puerto Rican, they don't look at me as my nationality. They look at me for the color of my skin. So I started, I dealt with a lot of racial hatred out here in Thailand. Um, comments, you black man, low class, pimp, you name it, you name it. All that noise was being hurled at me. But you know what? I told myself at the end of 2015, I said, you know what, Arsenio, it's either going to be them i'm sorry it's either going to be you or you're going to end up doing something very very insane okay i'm not talking about suicide or anything but i was just so worn out psychologically so something told me at the end of what was it at the end of december in 2015 you know what go to the bookstore and i met napoleon hill began <laughs> taking me on a journey that i so desperately needed at that time and it wasn't only him. Jack Canfield was introduced, of course, three months later. Lisa Nichols, Abundance Now, so many different people. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make this in a podcast. I don't know why. But one of my colleagues, of course, because I'm an English teacher out here now, but I'm more of an English trainer, personal development coach. Uh, oh, my God. I do so many things, uh, Sandy. You have no idea. I, I, I got to write a list, right? But um, 
moreover, I started reaching out in the personal development room because I needed it. And one of these mentors, I wouldn't say a mentor, but a guy that knew what my qualities were. He said, you're not utilizing all your skills. Guy from, me, uh, from Ireland. I said, what do you mean by that? He's like, you have a radio voice. Make a podcast. I was like, what's a podcast? And somehow I started converting those lessons, self-confidence, habit of saving, pleasing personality, all these different things into podcast form. And somewhat people started listening to me a little bit and whatnot, but, um, and I needed that podcast as much as, as much as anything else in my life. So 2017 rolled around, we can keep continue getting into that, but that's the brief part of my story. Pretty amazing story. Pretty, pretty amazing. And you know what? It's, Pretty cool nice. that you said that you are um, African American, Puerto Rican. I am actually Venezuelan, originally from Venezuela. Oh, there so, it is, awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, I came to the United States when I was 18, um, and I didn't speak any English whatsoever. Wow. Um, and the very first um, time that I came here, the way that I decided that I wanted to learn English. Um, I actually took stickers, you know, the labels, and I started putting the labels everywhere, like window, door, and I started walking around everywhere and reading the labels, trying to learn the language, and then I decided, okay, well, if I really want to learn the language, I need to submerge myself into the world, and I actually went and I looked for a job at a department store as a salesperson. That is actually how you have to start. You have to put yourself out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so how about you, Luke? Um, tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, so, um, so how I kind of got into personal development was I, so when I left college, um, I left halfway through like what, like the second year because I just felt like I wasn't learning anything and I knew then I wanted to run my own business but I was 17 you know what does a 17 year old know about business you know I had no business exposure but I knew you know that was what I wanted to do so I got a business apprenticeship uh, here in the UK um, and so it's interesting because I went into it thinking, you know, yes, I'm going to learn everything about business, you know, all, you know, all of the ropes, all of the ropes. And it really did not turn out like that. Um, I basically turned out to be their admin guy. So they just literally like shoved me into an office and was like, here's some paperwork. And I was like, great. <laughs> okay. I'll work through this then. Um, and then, so yeah, so that actually, I then kind of like fell into like the nine to five grind, um, which caused me to, you know, I feel like depressed and you know I, I, I suffer from like severe anxiety and everything and I just wasn't living my true purpose you know I wasn't passionate about what I was doing and there's a lot, 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 lots of like mental health stuff going on um that kind of with the people I was hanging around with like completely opposite to what I am right so they're very much like you know party kind of you know everyday type of type of people and I'm not that type of person you know I'm very much the opposite so it was um yeah, a very interesting time, I suppose, and a very challenging time. But, you know, I, um, I came across like network marketing and um, I was like, okay, you know, let's try this to like to launch my, my first business. Um, that failed, but I, through that, I did find, find personal development. Um, and so, you know, my upline at the time was like, Luke, read these books. And I was like, I don't read but I will read, you know, it's kind of like open-minded to be like, actually you're more successful than I am. Who am I to say actually, no, you know, I don't read. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll read this book, you know? Um, and so the, you know, that's kind of like how it started really, you know, I was starting reading these books and diving more into it. And I was just like, wow. And then I was like, actually kind of all the times I felt anxious and like everything gives some like my own thoughts causing it. And then I kind of through that process was able to get myself out of that situation that I was in um and you know that's why I'm hugely passionate about helping the younger generation as well because it was not just me that um what like when I looked at it in 2017 there's thousands of young people that do not know what they want to do you know and so that's kind of where Grow Together was born from was like actually it's, it's, it's not just Luke Burroughs here, here in Stroud in the United Kingdom you know small mm. small town you know there's thousands of other people and so um that's kind of like, again like how it was all born really um and then yeah that's kind of like the journey that i've been on and, and that so uh so yeah that's that's pretty much my story that is absolutely amazing and beautiful and 
uh, motivating. And uh, one of the things that actually I was thinking about last night when I was actually reading your story is um, it, it, there is always a trigger, right? There is a motivation in one person that you follow, that you admire, uh, is Simon Sinek. When you think about it and you think about the why, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We have to really go deep into what is our motivation and why we're doing things, right? And when you look at that catalyst, um, why are things motivating us to do something? In your case, it, was, it happened to you at a very young age. And you should be extremely thankful for that, you know? Absolutely. Because, you know, for me, in my case, it happened later on. Um, <laughs> when we were talking about, okay, let's have this podcast, you said, I want to know about your journey. You said, yeah. to me, I want to know about your journey, how you became an entrepreneur later on. And I had that aha moment. I had that. Um, you know, why, but I so wish it had happened to me earlier on how it happened to you. So if there is a message that I could actually transfer to the younger generations, it's like, you know, if they can discover that why at your age, you know, go for it. And actually I get goosebumps because it is, it's a beautiful thing. And um, in, in one of the things that I wrote about, and it was one of my very first blog posts as an entrepreneur, is don't be afraid. You know, kick fear on the butt. It's like, you just like, go for it. Because if you wait until um, later on, until, you know, one of the biggest regrets of people when they're in the dying bed is like, what could I have done you know, with my life, what are my regrets? And don't wait for that moment, you know? No, yeah. I mean, sorry to interrupt, like, that's yeah. something I'm, I'm hugely, like, so in some of my videos, that's not like what I say, you know, like, for me, it's not, it's about not having, it's, it's about not having those regrets. Like, when I'm there and I'm 90, if I make it that long and I'm there in, like, my rocking chair, like, I don't want to look back and kind of be like, oh, I wish I had done that. You know, I wish I had tried that. You know, and all these, like, wishes and everything you know so completely agree with you and that's like a message that i'm putting out there you know is like just start now you know of course it's going to be scary you know of course you know there's going to be ups and downs and challenges and obstacles but as part of like the journey you know as part of the journey in the process so completely agree completely agree right and yeah when it comes to like journeys oh sorry sandy um yeah when it comes to journeys man i mean i always felt like i had that void within me I don't know when there were times like, you know, during senior year of high school, stretching all the way out into doing dental assistant out there in Australia. I remember I was actually in a dental office right there in CBD and CBD of Sydney. And I remember I kept glancing out the window while I was sucking the saliva out of this other human being's <laughs> mouth. And I'm like, I need to be out there communicating with people. I feel like that. I just wasn't utilizing everything. So when I actually immersed myself into the teaching culture, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I didn't know what a podcast was. I didn't know what entrepreneurship was. I didn't know what any of that stuff was. I just felt like my calling was here. But then that's when the journey began because there was no mom. There was no, there was no mom taking me by my hand. No, because my mom had already dumped me off. You know, she basically said, hey, if you're not going to give me any money, I don't want to talk to you anymore as a son. And I said, well, you know what? It is what it is. I need to protect and help myself. Brother, ostracized. You know, my sisters, they were like, to hell with you. I said, okay. Well, it's the, it's the United States of Arsenio out here in Thailand. <laughs> and you know what? When I was going through those things psychologically, it was only I looking at myself right there in the mirror, right behind me. And then I was the only, I was my own rescue. And see, when you put your wall, and I love what Dwayne Johnson said to the Los Angeles Lakers in his speech. He actually said, you know what? I wake up with my back up against the wall. Gary Vee says, I'm only as good as my last at bat. Mm -hmm. So we take a lot of things for granted saying, oh, I've done this in the past. I've done that. It doesn't matter. What are you doing today? And that's what the whole entire journey is. And that's what Les Brown said. He's one of the very first people I met in 2015 on YouTube. He said... Mm -hmm. The journey is more important than the dream itself. That is so true. And Marie Forleo says, and she's actually writing a book about that as we speak, everything right. is figureoutable, right? So to your point, 
you know, you don't have to know everything. Most people are afraid. Their fear is because they think, I need to know everything. Guess what? You don't. Don't have the fear of, I need to look perfect. I need to know everything. I need to have all the answers because the reality is you don't. The more that you put yourself out there, the more that you show people that you're genuine, the more that you show your real self and that you show that you actually are trying to fear, figuring things out, the more people are going to actually like you for who you are. And they're going to know that you actually are a human being and you are like them. So that is the whole point. It's like, you know, you are trying to figure out your business. You're trying to figure out everything as you are going through it. Um, and, and, and that is the reality of everything. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below, was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.